At One Acre Farm in Dickerson, farmer Mike Protus is a big believer in composting as a method of enriching his soil and delivering healthy food. But getting that compost material hasn't always been easy. So up until this point, I haven't been making as much compost as I would like to, just simply based on labor and time and, and access to materials. It's harder, it's harder and harder and harder to find materials to make compost with. But a new proposal introduced by Councilmember Evan Glass might just be the answer to Farmer Mike's dilemma. But happy to continue those conversations. Montgomery County produces about 147,000 tons of waste each year. Zoning text amendment 2004 will create a greener local economy by increasing the amount of organic waste farmers can use on their property to produce and manufacture compost and mulch. Right now, farms are limited at only accepting 20% capacity for off-site composting, which means the other 80% of what they're composting has to come from their facility, their own farm. Uh, but now we're going to increase it to 50%, and that way we're able to accept more food waste from residents of Montgomery County, means less waste in our landfill, less waste in our incinerator, and it's good for the farms and good for the earth. The main thing is we need, as farmers, we need as much organic matter in our soil as possible. So by expanding the amount of material we can compost in this zone text amendment, we can then create more compost, which we can put on our fields. At, at the moment, there's never ending supply. We could use an unlimited supply of compost. Now, of course, in 20 years, that's a different story. But for right now, we have a lot of work to, to build up our soils back up so that they have enough organic matter to grow the healthy plants that we need to furnish healthy people. Despite its name, One Acre Farm sits on 34 acres in Montgomery County's Agricultural Reserve. One of the ways farmer Mike practices organic farming is through using compost provided by the Compost Crew, a locally owned food scrap recycling business that currently serves more than 5,000 customers. At One Acre Farm, the Compost Crew has set up a zero waste operation. Um, so you'll see we have an IBC tote here. This is actually also used uh, IBC tote. So this is used for food grade material, um, meaning that it's safe to apply to our compost piles. So we have a used IBC tote here, we have a used shipping container, and we are taking material that would otherwise go into the trash. So this is really a whole, you know, zero waste project here. You know, the compost is the finished product that we're using, but we're also incorporating elements um, that, you know, this material, like I said, would otherwise, you know, pop, probably end up into the trash, so. Farmer Mike would like to be able to expand this operation. However, current zoning restricts the amount of organic waste farmers like him can take into their facility. Both he and the compost crew say Councilmember Glass's ZTA would be a welcome solution in protecting the environment, supporting sustainable farming, and creating more green jobs. So as we continue to grow, we continue to collect more food scraps, and we will need more places to process those food scraps and right now the region is reliant on just one or two pretty large facilities that are far away and that's a negative because it increases the risk to the industry as a whole because if we're relying on just one facility what happens if something goes wrong with that facility or if they run out of capacity so we definitely need more capacity in general but also we need more capacity closer to the source of waste generation because that allows us to minimize the overall environmental and economic footprint of, of the collections. But moving forward with this compost crew being here, I'll be, have the ability to use a better product than what I can make with the materials, the, the free materials I can get access to at the moment. So the beauty of growing comp with compost is that if we create a healthy soil, it creates a healthy plant. Just like our kids in school, if our kid isn't healthy, it, he or she gets sick more often. The same thing with plants. Plants are left alone if they're healthy. Nothing bothers them. Bugs don't bother them. Disease pressure doesn't bother them. Montgomery County has committed to significantly reducing its carbon footprint by 2035. Councilmember Glass says this measure is a big step in reducing the waste stream that exists here. If we're going to meet those goals, not only here in Montgomery County, but nationally and globally, we have to start taking more bold action. Uh, and, and this is just one little step to really help with our managing our food waste so that we can better utilize the farms that we have here in Montgomery County and encourage more entrepreneurial growth.
within this space. And that's where compost crew and other types of small businesses really come into play. Uh, the small businesses working with the farmers, helping our residents. I mean, that, that, that is the circle of life right here. The council is scheduled to hold a public hearing on the measure December 1st. Reporting from Dickerson, I'm Susan Kennedy.